Go ahead and give her a little bit more leash. I'm not going inside. My mom's out here. Okay, I'm going to go See, the thing is about her energy is like, she doesn't she doesn't have to be physically tired to like be settled, to be calm. You know what I mean? Hey. Yeah, but she doesn't have to be like physically tired to be calm. She just needs a job to do, and she and once she understands what that job is, she can start being held accountable for doing. It. And once she gets to that point, you'll notice you'll notice her energy just overall just goes down. Let's go. Like even what the time is on this? Oh, it reset, but um. Oh, when she Actually, no, it didn't. What am I talking about? It didn't. It didn't even stop. So, so this has been going on for 10 minutes already. But she got off briefly. So she's been on it for about seven or so minutes as it is. It took about... It took about a minute or so total to get her on it. And then that... that having her actually walk at the pace that she's walking took a, a good two or so minutes. Maybe even a little more. Go. Go, go, go. I'm trying to do what I'm I'll see. I'm, go. Yeah. Come on. There you go. She's pulling it herself. That's good. Let's go. Let's go, go, go. I feel it loosen. Mm hmm. So I mean, she's coming closer. Let's go. Let's go, go, go. Good girl. Yeah, and I'll try to give her as much slack as possible. Okay. But remember, pick your point and then give her information as she goes past Let's it. Go. And you can do this, depending on her, maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And then every, and every time you do it, you can just go up like five or so minutes. You bring her over here, just put her on the treadmill for like 15 minutes. If you're ever just like sitting, doing something on your phone, you know, whatever you're doing, like whenever you were, um, whatever you're doing. Right. And it's absolutely fine to have her hold it down while you do work. Yeah. Like my dogs, my dogs hold place for could be like hours. Yeah, if anything, she's good at doing you know. That, but I, you know, I want to give her variety. You know, sometimes give her other things to do. Yeah. And I mean, I mean, I feel like she, she should have something. You know, something else to something else to challenge her. Something else to kind of you know give her something to think about. Yeah. Because you know, with her being split bone like the way she is, I know. Mm -hmm. The other house, so when she comes here, I don't want to do the same, and I don't want to just give her more freedom because she's here, you know. Mm -hmm. what I mean, to close yeah, okay. but I still want her to be a little active. Let's go. Well, yeah, she shouldn't have freedom while she's here because none of the dogs have freedom that are here, except except for baby, but you know, baby doesn't count. Right. Let's go. You know, I might, you know, like when you just came in, this is like the first little point of the day. It might be like twice a day, I might let her just kind of break from it a little bit, have a little leisure, have her mm -hmm. still interacting. Let's go. You know, so I, um, the kids pet her, move pet her. Let's go. You know, just a quick, like, five-minute play. Mm -hmm. Quit playing on that door. For somebody to smash their fingers. Let's go. All right, I'm getting back. Let's watch. Let's go. All right, we can give her a little bit. A little bit more, and then we can stop. Let's she's go. been at it for she's been at it for about fifteen minutes so far. So that's yeah, that's a lot for the first time. But dogs, you can put it. I I mean, I've seen dogs go on treadmills for like an hour, no. if not more. 
Like I, I could easily put Champ on a treadmill for about an hour, I if not, if it. not more, and he'll and he'll just sit on it. But just keep in mind, this is never something you want to do and just like leave and oh. let them just hang out on the treadmill. Yeah, no. Especially because I mean, you, you always just want to be here. Like anything can happen and you always want to be here for it. Like I always, especially like in the early stages, they're always on the leash. You don't really want them. Okay, hang on, hang on guys. We're talking right now. Um, when they're on the leash, definitely don't want to leave them by themselves. But that's also why I use the prong. The prong is absolutely like the best thing to use in combination with a leash for, for treadmill. Mm -hmm. Because, just because of how it's designed. Yeah. It won't choke them. Yeah. Let's go. Or it, it, at least it's, it's very, her. very we unlikely to. Yeah. But yeah, just, I mean, for that same reason though, leaving her on a prong, you never want to leave a dog on a... You never want to leave a dog on a prong unattended. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. It can snag on anything and they can't get it off and that's just, that's just trouble. Let's go. Let's go, Coco. Let's go. Come on, girl. It's, it's been a minute. Um, what you can do is you can hit, uh, you can hit pause. Pause actually slows it. I think. It's right next to the power button. Start. Yeah. You can either just bring the, yeah, pause will just slow it Good down. Good girl. Good girl. I mean, let her know. Just freaking. Good girl. That was awesome. Good job. Go, go. That Come was here. really good. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. You almost got my eyes. Hmm.